Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 2 for the Game Boy Color. Now last time we began this thing on chapter 1 and played the first two stories. Today we shall let out of the water. Because why not? It's an annoying thing to have in your castle anyway. Especially because of all the fish that suddenly started inhabiting the castle halls. Where they came from, I do not know. I do, do know, however, that they do not like anything you have. Also, there's money over here. Why there's so much money lying around everywhere? Actually, there's an explanation for that in the manual, if I recall correctly. The dudes who stole our money have scattered it all over by accident. <clears throat> also, yeah, the bubbles. Later on, they will become much more annoying. Also, ducks. Nobody likes that the ducks. Ah, dang it! There was a thing in the ceiling. Oh well, guess I'll never be getting that now. Too bad. Well, I think I will leave the pots and pans in this stage alone because the bubbles will break on them. And I kind of need to not get caught by the bubbles. Bubbles, they're worse than fish. Can break the top layer of the bases here. Wah. Wah. With the ground pound, but you won't reach deep enough to get the deeper layers. Also, that what that switch just now did was no, oh, that was a 100 coin, coin, coins, coin, coin. And what the switch did is lower the water so that they could actually get through there. <clears throat> we need to reset the water level though. So we can continue through the next room over here. The chairs of course fishing. Fantastic. I mean, whoever came up with uh, this grand idea. I'm gonna check out the rest of what's up there in a second. I want to break these pots. Might be another 100 coins coin. I call them big coins, but they're already are big coins in this game. And they are only worth 10 coins each. 10 normal coins. <clears throat> oh well. Ah, this guy... Sure. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I saw him. Maybe that guy? No. Yeah. Well, that's what I got safe states for. Yay! To be fair, that would have been my second choice. I just wasn't sure which one of the two was my dude. And yeah. This one's kinda clever, you need to break the pots so that you can bubble up and come on, bubble up, bubble up. And go to the right to get up here. Excellent. So let's leave. <clears throat> ah, instruction manual. You exist. I 
actually what you also can do is you know that in reverse yeah? if you time it right you can actually slide upwards normally this doesn't work because you just bounce back but at the top of a slide it works and it's kind of neat you can't break too much with that though but it's a glitch that exists oh well and another level back crashed let's go to the fun number guessing game Still be four or nine. That's exactly the single one tile that didn't answer me the question of which one of the two it was. Any of the other four would have uh, told me that it was well either of the two. Really? <clears throat> Actually, the top left one wouldn't have. Oh well. Going to the cellar and getting squished first thing in the morning. Sure. Don't think there's a whole lot of elves up there. If there is, I'll just ignore it. tricky to get up here because you can hit the bat from below. And if you do well it's not gonna end too well for you. So I needed to break that to get through. However now that it's broken I think I want myself to get Squished. Oh, by the way, to get up here, hold up by jumping. It's simple. And to get to over there, just slide off the platform. To get by yourself back big, you can use water or the bats that pull you up. Like this one. No! Here I want to break through the staircase in my way that still lets me get up here for some coins. Nice. Everybody loves coins, don't they? Yes, especially Barrio, because he's well <clears throat> He's Wario. That's what he is. Wah. I don't remember why, but well, this is why, but yeah. So over here, I actually want to fall down for some more coins. Of course, that sets me back all the way to the beginning. But that's okay. We kind of need to be small anyway. Get over this hole. See, you can't fall down a one, a, a tiny hole like that. The flat Wario. Ah, dang it! I should have. Ah! I made an error of judgment. Haha! That's what I did. I need to come back here with flat Wario. <clears throat> Get into the door above. You stop stomping, Stomper. Because you see, to get into, into that door, we need to s slide down from about here. And use the bat and get ourselves a minigame. Yay! 
Because everybody loves mini games. You again. I did not see that guy at all. I think it was here. Ta-ta. I knew he was down there because I didn't see him and that is the only place I didn't look at. <coughs> of course. Oh well. And with that, we are in the cellar. How nice. I mean, you could be just about anything. Okay, that should be the zero. I was just making doubly sure, but really there are only three numbers with an empty space in the middle, those being zero, one and seven. And one and seven don't exactly have something in the bottom left now, do they? <coughs> Defeat the giant snake. My, that sounds fun. This is also a level with a secret exit. If I'm not mistaken, the, the boss is just through this door, pretty much. Yeah, that's the boss. If we so chose, we could just go out there and end the level. But we still have a treasure to get. Also, there's a secret here. Dang. We don't uh, even have only one treasure to get, we have a lot of treasure to get. Treasure. Bah. Freaking thing. And the treasure is here. Now in the beginning there was an arrow of coins pointing down, but I already ate them, so there. Now the thing about this... Wah! It's a zombie. Ah. Okay. Not a whole lot to see over there. I don't plan on going down every one of these holes, but... I was looking for this one. Because it has our minigame! Oh yeah. I'm gonna play on hard, of course. And hmm, that guy. Pretty sure it was the top left corner. By the way, the way I I almost pointed at the screen to tell you how I did it. Um the way I play this minigame is I look in the center of all the cards between the center four of them and well um, excuse me I made a arrow I made an made a error yes um, <clears throat> anyway time for our first boss um, First of all, I should maybe finish my train of thought. The way I play the minigame is I look in the center of the four cards, in the middle, and try to view all of the cards at once. To look for the one card I'm looking for. Oh well, boss time. Sup? Wah! Don't bite me! Still live. The snake can and will bite you, but um, it will only do so uh, if it does. It will only push you off the screen to the top, just like every boss. Every boss will push you either at the top 
to the top of the string or to the bottom. And that is, as you can clearly tell, number 5. <laughs> it could have been 3 or 9 as well before it showed me the, the top right corner. And yeah, I think that will do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. This well episode of well uh, Mario Land 2. This is Vivian and fare thee well. Next time we will venture into chapter two. <laughs>